Hi YouTube, my name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. Now, I know everybody is going crazy about the whole... I want to get into a whole lot of things. And I got only a time limit to do these things. So, let me just start by saying... I want to talk about the whole TMZ thing. With... With, with Charles... With, um, not Charles. Charles was there, but not with Charles. With Van Lathan and Michael Bangkok. Now, they said that he put his hands around this man's neck and he choked them. Now, the footage is out today. I'm so disgusted because let me just tell you something. This is why you cannot believe everything you read or everything that you hear. Because the footage shows that he didn't put his hand all around his neck like they said. It's a bunch of bullshit. So, I was on um, Nick at Night's page. I love Nick at Night. Shout out to Nick at Night because she put out the video footage today. Because I haven't found it nowhere. So, I'm going to use a clip of hers. Shout out to Nick at Night. If you want to go watch the whole clip, you can go watch her channel. It's Nick at Night. And um, I'm disgusted. Because my thing is... I feel like Van got fired for no reason. Like, let's see. Page 6 has reported and learned that Van Nathan was fired from TSZ for putting his hands around the neck of a co-worker, Michael Van Cock. On Monday, we reported that the site veteran Van had been canned after telling Van Cock after shooting a segment together for TMZ Live that there would be trouble between them if Bangkok ever embarrassed Nathan like Lathan, like that again. We've heard from sources that Lathan had put his hands around Bangkok's throat and didn't, but didn't publish the, the claim without evidence. But on Tuesday, pictures emerged clearly confirming that Lathan have gotten physical. Bullshit. Now, when y'all see where his hands is at, on his on on his shoulder, they never went around his throat. And see, this is the problem that I have today. And I'm gonna tell you why before I show y'all the footage. I live in New York City. A cop put his whole arm around a black man's neck and killed him. They didn't fire him until five years later. Van puts his hand on Bangkok's shoulder. Let me show y'all. Let me just show y'all. For y'all think that I'm bugging out. He put his hands on the man's shoulder. It did not go around his neck. But I call a lot of big shastness. The reason why I call a lot of big shastness is because that's just what it is. This is where his hands is at. This is where his hands is. Let me show y'all the footage. Let me just show y'all the footage. He whispers in his ear. And I think he was trying to hold the earpiece in. If you look at Bangkok's earpiece, it's in his ear on that same ear where, Charles, where, where Van had his hand at. I don't know who that lady is. But, my thing is though, he did not put his hands around his neck like they indicated. He laid his hand on the back of his shoulder. The earpiece is here. He laid his head on the back of his shoulder. And I'm and he, he he didn't squeeze his neck. But look at it again. My thing is though, my thing is being that it was a verbal exchange between the both of them. 
I know I call bitch asses because sometimes I feel like if you watch TMZ and you watch the things that go on in TMZ, and I'm not trying to take nobody's side or nothing. See, this is why I had to have my thought juice today. Yeah, I got it today. Today's Friday. Because I, I got a lot of things that I just want to get off my chest. And this is one of them. And I'm about to go deeper into it. Michael Bangkok is a bitch ass nigga. I said that shit. Bangkok is a bitch ass nigga because it was a verbal exchange between the both of them. And then he came and he rested his hand for he can pull him back in a little bit. Before, you know, the cameras start rolling or whatever. They said they took the clip out. Charles is sitting there. I don't know, but it, today, I'm going to tell you, today, that happened. Van got fired on Monday. Today is Friday. Charles is not there today. I'm going to show you who there today, though. I'm going to show you who there today. And I don't understand why this person is here. I don't. I don't understand why she's here. But let me show you who's here. Let me show y'all who's really here. Um, I feel like they could have both been suspended for two weeks with no pay and everybody could have came back on the air and everything would have went back to hunky dory. I don't feel like nobody had to be fired from no job because of a dis a verbal disagreement. He did not choke that boy, put his hands around his neck like this. They was way back the fuck here and it didn't make no sense for him to be fired. Even if the roles are vice versa, and Bangkok did that to Van, I don't think nobody should still be fired. You understand what I'm saying? I don't think nobody should be fired. Now, with that being said, I think TMZ has lost a very valuable player in Van because let me just say, see, let me just say this: if you've been watching TMZ for a long time. You, you watched it when Van put Kanye West in his place. About the whole slave thing and how people want to be slaves and people have slave mentality and all this craziness. I watched it that day. I have it on my YouTube videos. Like, we're further down, but it's there if you want to go watch it. My thing is, the reason why I say Bangkok is a big ass nigga is because he do and say a lot of bitch assness. I said it. He do a lot of... I'm not surprised that he probably cried. Oh, he did this. And I can see him doing that. I can see him taking things overboard. Let me get my goddamn thought juice. Because let me just tell you this. I, I, I got to drink the thought juice. I got to drink it today. I don't know what y'all thinking. Today is Friday, and I'm going to get into a lot of things. There's a lot of videos about to come out. I'm disgusted. I am disgusted that that man had to get fired. Even if the roles were reversed and Bangkok got fired. I was still, even though I feel like Bangkok be saying a lot of bitch assness, I would still be disgusted. They didn't, I don't feel like they handled the situation in the best light. Is it a, Now I have to put in the question... Is it a media stunt? Because you know people like to pull stunts. YouTube like to pull a lot of stunts, but you know what? We're going to get into that in another video. Let me just show y'all. Because you know, being that Charles mysteriously is gone for on Friday, which is today. Let me show you who's in his place. Miss Nicole Murphy. I'm going to sleep with your man. I didn't mean to kiss him in the mouth, Murphy. Eddie Murphy's ex-wife. Yeah. I didn't mean to kiss him in the mouth. We just friends. He a family friend. I bumped into him. In the mouth. In the morning. Half naked. Right, that Murphy. Now, 
half the stuff she don't even I don't feel like she was a good feeling for this part right here I don't feel like she was a good feeling she said a lot of things that I do agree with though and I'm gonna get into that in about a minute now but I just don't feel like she should have been there to fill Van's shoes but let me show y'all something else let me speed it up real quick and then I'm, I'm going to rewind it back. I'm going to speed it up and I'm going to wind it back. Because I feel like people are like trying to be funny. Let me just stop it real quick. Let me... Do, 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 do. Yeah, because I, I just don't feel like he should have been fired. I feel like that was like the wrong thing to do. I feel like people like to play victim a lot. I feel like... That, to me, was just the wrong move. A lot of people is not is going to call bullshit on a lot of things. A lot of things. Like me, I call bullshit on a lot of things. I'm sorry. Let me speed it up for y'all real quick. Why I speed it up for y'all real quick. I like to thank all my new subscribers. I'm trying not to miss the moment. Because I want y'all to see something. Because I, I just find it that. If you fire one right. What is the other one doing? What's the other one doing right? That's that's my, that's my question right? I don't feel like. I just don't get it. I don't get it. I'm trying to get it. But I don't get it. Let me see. Do, 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 do. But I would like to thank all my new subbies. Um, Lady Snoop is going live today at 7 I seen. So I'm going to, this is why I'm doing all my videos early. Because I like to be in certain people's lives. I like supporting other people that support me. Plus I just like to be nosy too at the same time. Oh, and we're going to get into Storm, Storm, Storm Monroe. We're going to get into that. How he just handed Amar like he, like he served him up on a platter. We're going to get into that too. I got a video for that too. I'm trying to wait, y'all. Because I want y'all to really see something. I want y'all to see song sing. And I know it's not this far ahead, so I know I don't, I don't did something wrong. Cause it's not this far. I just was watching TMZ today, and it's like a lot of bullshit. Like, is this a lot? A lot? A lot? A lot? Is this a lot? Like, really? Like, I just don't feel like. I feel like it's going to make me, it's going to put a sour taste in people's mouth for Van not to be there. And I'm not trying to say that TMZ is racist because they have a lot of different people with different ethnicities there. Like, there's a lot of different people. Like, as I'm watching it right now, I'm looking at all the people. Like, if you watch TMZ, you see all the people in their background. They have... They don't have only just white and only just black. Like, there's a lot of different people there from all nationalities. But I just feel like this, this right here, TMZ has been known to report a lot of news that ain't true. And then on top of this, now we have the whole Van being fired thing. Now, Van has tweeted out that he's okay. And he doesn't want nobody to worry about him. And that's understandable because a lot of people like Van. I think he's well known for putting Kanye West in his place. When he did that, it was like, yes, Van to the restroom. Because I know I was happy when he did it. To the point where I had to report about it. Where is this clip at, y'all? This is just, I'm trying to tell you. Today is just one of those days where... I had to go get me something to drink. I went to the supermarket today. Yeah, I'm all over the place. I am all over the place. I'm going to talk about that, that supermarket thing too. Because I was going to go live in there. But I couldn't. I just couldn't. Let
I'm really trying to find it for y'all. Because I'm not understanding. Hold on one minute. Look at who came to work. I don't know if he's been here all these days since the altercation. Because I haven't been watching. I've been taping it, but I have not been watching it. I don't know if I put a nasty taste in my mouth while I had better things to do. But talk about people on YouTube because they've been lit. But Bangkok was at work today. Along with Cole Murphy. Now ain't that something, YouTube? Ain't that something? He, he, he's able to come to work and, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to start watching it for now on, even if I have to tape it. Because let me just say this, not for nothing. If Bangkok gets more airtime. And where's Raquel? I have not seen Raquel in a long time, y'all. They have another young black African American up there. She was just up there a few minutes ago. She's very pretty. I love her. I always forget her name, but I like her. But where's Raquel? Raquel might be working on her own show. Her show, I think, came on late nights. Like it was like she was interviewing rappers, you know, celebrities and all that stuff. But I'm going to tell you this. If Bangkok starts getting more airtime, I'm going to start saying to myself, like other people will be saying, did we just get Van out of here for Bangkok? Did Bangkok call a bullshit call so he can get more airtime? All that's going to come into play for me. And I'm going to tell you, I rock, because to me, like I said, it's unfair. Nobody, everybody should have went home and not have came back until the 1st of November, maybe. Whenever the, whenever Monday starts in November, that's when they should have came back to work with no pay. Both of them. Because it was a political argument. And I didn't watch that episode. So I'm kind of thinking, I'm, I, I, for me watching the all the other episodes... I know how Bangkok can be when it comes to political and and if they was talking about the whole Trump thing and oh I'm about to get on Trump I'm about to get on him I'm about to get on him but um I don't know I, I just don't know I, I, I don't know I know how he can be when when, when Trump comes into play and see, it's not like they can't talk about it because they talk, TMZ is known to talk about everything. Everything. If you are in the spotlight, T, and you're going to be on TMZ. And I don't know what was said because they cut that part out. I heard of the show. And Bangkok was the co-host with Charles that day. But I'm, I'm, I'm... I would have, if I'm the boss, the way that video was set up, the way they said that he grabbed him around his throat and, 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 and did all of that, it wasn't like that. And we should have known that TMZ or somebody, well, I'm going to say TMZ because they, they, they get everybody else footage. And this is why I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe it was just a stunt. Because a lot of people stopped watching the whole TMZ because TMZ tell a lot of forced narratives about the whole Starting with the whole 6ix9ine case. Like, they, was, they wasn't really, to me, a lot of things about that case wasn't the truth that they was putting out there like that. And I wasn't really feeling it. I think that's why I kind of, like, fell back off from them a little bit. But, um, like I said, if Bangkok started getting an extra airtime to me, because at one point, he was not on every episode. Okay? Now, if he starts being on every episode, talking about at least five topics out of every episode, we got a problem. I'm going to call bullshit on it. I already said it was a bullshit call. Everybody should have just went home and I came back to the first Monday in November. Period. No pay. It's two people in an argument. 
Y'all putting out the video. Where's the audio? Y'all didn't put out no audio. So we don't know what was said. And then y'all cut that part of the show out. So y'all can say whatever it is y'all got to say behind the scenes or whatever. It, it was just, it, it to me it's in poor taste. If you're going to air out the video part, I want to hear the audio part of it. And this is TMZ basically leaking their own stuff. Y'all leak everybody else's stuff, but this is basically y'all leaking your own stuff. So if they really wanted it to be hidden, nobody would really see it. And this is why I'm starting to think it's a stunt. Because to me, everything is a stunt. And I notice a lot of people have been bashing TMZ for the way that they report on certain topics. So therefore, if this is a stunt, it's in poor taste. It's already in poor taste that you fired Van. But it's really going to be in poor taste if this is a stunt. I don't know, YouTube. I had to find that little clip for y'all. Because I was finding the one where he was sitting up behind Cole Murphy. Like, in the back, back, back. Now, he's here. I didn't even know he had reported anything today. Until I went back. I had to pause this video. So I would have to leave y'all on hold while I'm going through the footage. It's just crazy. I just feel like everybody should have not been there today. I feel like with him being on TV right now. Reporting something, it's like throwing it back in Van's face that Van was fired and he wasn't. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's okay, it's one thing you fired him. That was already in poor taste. But then, this man is still, I, I can see that he's on screen maybe next week. Like, let it die down a little bit. Yeah, this is not letting it die down. Van was only fired on Monday. Here we is on Friday and Bangkok is on the screen. Like I said, I don't know how many times this week he's been on the screen since the incident happened. But come on. To me, it's like throwing it in the man's face now. And like I said, if this is a stunt, this is not going to go well. Because it's already not going well. People are already in the comments going bananas. So, I don't know. I, I just don't know. A lot of people want Van to come back. Let's see if they bring him back. Because I feel like this is going to put a little dent in their ratings. This is not going to be good. I don't think this is going to be good at all. People, or a lot of people didn't already like TMZ, like I said. But I think this is going to put a dent in their in their, um, in their their viewers. Um, and like I said, where's Raquel? Because I ain't seen her in a while. And I notice every time Raquel starts talking, everybody feels the need to talk over her. She, if y'all want her to handle the hip hoppers and all that, handle that part of the reporting, and then y'all go to her, y'all ask her something, y'all don't even let her talk. Y'all just go in. I don't know, Raquel, but no, this is like this, that, this, that, this. If you was going to report on it, then report on it. Don't go to her, have her start reporting, and then. I, I always didn't like that part. I never liked that part. But I know that she has not been there neither. So I don't know, YouTube. I, I just want to see what y'all think. My name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. And we're going to go right into the next video. Starting right about now. Later, YouTube.